I mean, listen, Tennessee, remember when people had him like number two in, in, in the in the analytics, and I'm like, all they're doing is blowing out shitty teams. It's all they did. They won one good game against Kansas. Really good game. Other than great that, game. great game. They, great game. Great game. But by the, other than that, they were they were blowing out shitty teams in league play at that point and in non-league play. I never bought into Tennessee. Texas, ever, ever. Texas was big. Yeah, Texas. That was later. Yes, that was a little bit later in the year. They they did. A- Al- Alabama was big. Like they have had some great wins. Now that yeah, I'm looking just, at it, like yeah, I'm just I never I never bought them, and I've never bought Auburn, and that's okay. part of why I'm saying about the SEC, Greg. Are I, you out on the whole SEC? Then is that what I'm saying? I mean, given Alabama's situation, are you out on this conference? A little bit. Yeah, yeah. I kind of like I'm back a little bit on Kentucky, but I don't know if they can. You know, like how far I could see. Yes, I could see them not having a team in the Elite Eight. Like, I could wow. see them going over. Wow. I, I mean, yeah. I don't even think that's a hot take. Right. Because right. That's the one a little hot, that guys. That's a little hot. There's there's one team in this league that if you look at on paper and you say they are a team that I, I believe can be a Final Four team. Like, there's one team that you look at and say, I think that they are a Final Four contender on paper and that's Alabama and we just walked through how big of a concern we have about Alabama because of all of the stuff going on around the program right are you going to sit here and say I I feel great about Texas A&M making a run I feel great about Auburn making a run I feel great about Tennessee making a run I feel great about anybody else about Kentucky making a run no you you just don't right and the one team that you feel great about is the one team where it's like they have they're they're going to be playing the mind games the entire time so uh, yeah, if there's a league that I think we're going to look at and say they are under, they're going to underperform what we thought they would do in the NCAA tournament, I think it's going to be SEC. That's fair. Just for some context, uh, SEC is the only team with two teams in the top eight, according to Ken Palm. They have five teams in the top 25. I do think that's a little hot to say we we don't expect an elite eight team but from Tennessee this group. That would be elite, surprising. Tennessee in the top eight right now is a joke. We know that. They, they're I mean, if you're ranking Tennessee, where are you ranking them? Forget about the numbers. Right now, if you're putting a list together of teams, where are you putting Tennessee today? It's it's so hard without Ziggler, right? Right. Like that's, 30? 30? Yeah, probably 25, 30. Right. Right. Yeah. I mean, that's that's fair. The injury obviously shifts right. that in a very in Alabama, way. even Alabama, are you putting them in the top five right now? Today. I think you have to. I think you have to. I, Just I, for the I, the promise of if they play to their ceiling. I don't think I am. What's your top five then? Like, give, give me five teams you genuinely think are better than Alabama. Houston, Kansas, UCLA for sure. Those three, I'll start there for sure. sure. And then, well, there's, then, then you're stretching, Rob. Or Jeff, sorry. I'm, again, um, the monsters are in my head. Uh, yeah, then you are you are stretching. And then it's kind of who do you who do you like, who do you trust? I don't know who I'd go with clearly over over them, Alabama, but I just don't like what I'm seeing right now. And Fair. and again, they're just they're they're vulnerable right now. They're just they're fragile in my opinion. That's fair. Rob, what about you? I want your answer to that. Do you have them top five? He's gonna you say got, UConn. You gotta have them top He's five. He's gonna say UConn. I'll say UConn, but I still got Bama top five. Yeah, I would have I would have Bama top five right now just because I don't it's very hard for me to like get into people's heads when it comes to predicting stuff. Right. When when you're trying to play the, the motivation game or the, the psychology game, like it just, it's risky to me. So I would have them top five, but I would do it while saying, you know, this is something you got to watch for. Like, this is very much a, a concern to me, but like the thing about this year is you can make literally an argument for pretty much any team um, in like that top 10 to 12 range to be a top five team. Hey guys, just a reminder, our sponsor for today's episode is Run Your Pool. They are hosting the Field of 68 Bracket Challenge. This year, they are giving away $1,500 in free prizes. It's all an incentive for you to get on there and find out just how good their platform is. I've been using them for my bracket pools for years. I've used them for Super Bowl squares. I use them for everything that I need to use them for. The biggest survivor pool that I'm in for both NFL and NCAA tournament is by Run Your Pool. So go check them out. The link's below. Tap in.